Hey guys, Cover 6 checking in here. I was going to let you kind of see some of the things I've found to help uh, store water long term. Um, my family and I have been using this pretty successfully now for a while. Um, basically, it's going to be stuff that you just find around. I know um, I try not to store anything in big containers. Um, one, they're hard to move, like 55 gallon drums. I'd, I'd love to have a bunch of them, but just realistically in, in my garage, uh, they don't work. The other thing is, if we had to bug out somewhere, transporting them is uh, next to impossible. I just don't want to have to worry about if I have to move it, pump it out, whatever, if we have to leave in a hurry. So I found a solution that uh, works pretty well. So, uh, and this is pretty much it right here. I, uh, I take these old Coke bottles, two liters, and I fill up about, you know, a little over three quarters of the way full, and then we freeze them. And uh, as you can see here, I've got several we're preparing uh, to get ready and I'll show you a little bit more of that in a second but uh, <clears throat> with that little bit of airspace in there it allows it to freeze the bottles won't pop um, once we put them in the freezer and they're set we, we usually stand them upright I don't want anything freezing on that cap uh, once they're actually frozen though you can lay them down and stack them nicely in like your giant freezer so that way uh, I've got fresh water as I need it um, I'll go into a little more detail on that stuff in a little bit, but I'll show you now what we got. All right, so here in my wash sink here in the uh, garage, I've got a bottle. It's pretty well filled up, so let's go ahead and just top it off. I'll show you. Got most of the way done. It's going to be pretty close right there. Gives you kind of an idea. I'll turn this off real quick. So now we go ahead and cap this. It's got plenty of expansion room. Doesn't look like much, but trust me, it's plenty. These two here you're seeing, I've already rinsed out once. I let them sit with some hot water in there. No soap or anything. Um, one thing when we do get the caps on it, we want to ensure that we place this somewhere out of the way, because I uh, obviously if I filled all these up and left them here, it's pretty tough to get them back into the uh, freezer without making a big mess. So I actually incorporated this so a greenhouse, a starter greenhouse, I got it tractor supply for about $20 uh, earlier last year. And so what we're going to do is take these and store them in here. I wiped it all down previously, so now we know that uh, those bottles are staying clean. And that's really one of the parts to this system that I uh, like, is we, we're able to keep these bottles clean once we freeze them. Because once we're done freezing them, I have the option to... Uh, I have lots of options actually. I can pull it out. <clears throat> I can just you know let it fall out and uh, just drink it right out of the bottle. Uh, if we are concerned about s certain things about time, like we we want to thaw it out quicker. I mean obviously it's been uh, over a hundred here the last two weeks, so it's not going to take any length of time at all for a bottle like that to thaw out. But the other thing is we can use it for convenience for our families. Uh, what I mean by that is you can take and boil water, and, and we actually had this instance this weekend, my little town I live in, they had a boil alert. We had a water line break, and so my family had plenty of water. Um, we, we would take these, we could boil our water, put it in a pan. I could take one of these out of the freezer, and knowing that it's clean, I can insert it into that boiled water and know that I'm now thawing this, and I'm cooling the other water because uh, my family's pretty particular. They're not really big fans of drinking boiled water. Uh, so we had a little bit of comfort with a little bit, you know, and lessened our pain a little bit. So uh, I will tell you, once you rinse these out uh, like this, got them full up and you rinse it and uh, it sets for a while and you dump it out, I do recommend taking a cap like you see these other ones over here in the back, put the cap back on while it's sitting there because after we rinse it out, we obviously don't want to take all the dust and everything in the air and put it right back in the bottle. So, uh, just a little tip there for you on that.
right, now as you can tell, we got our bottles filled up, and I'll show you real quick. They do look fantastic. Look at all those. Thing works pretty well as a greenhouse and as a bottle holder. Alrighty, so now that we're done with that, I can show you some of the ones we've done in the past here. And, uh, this is a great example right here. We've got a uh, classic Dico bottle frozen. You can see where the uh, where it froze up to. So these are all about the same height. Didn't bust the bottle. I can still get the cap off if I want to. Look at that. And uh, <clears throat> now I can use this in a variety of ways. I have a lot of options with this. Especially if we're in a bug out situation and I do have to transport this, I'm able to, you know, easily grab these, a bunch of them, and they don't have to stay frozen. And I can throw them in my truck or whatever, and I know it's still good water. And that's the key, really, when it comes down to what we're doing. The other thing that's nice about this is we can actually gauge how much we're using every day. It's not a 55 gallon drum, we don't have to worry about you know how much are we taking out every day we we can use this to ration ourselves we can say you know this is what we get um, that in itself is huge because I, I know when I'm looking at this I can see how much is left now that inherently is the problem with a 55 gallon drum it's tough to see and know how much you're at without putting something in there stick or whatever to find out uh, how much you actually have left and that is effectively contaminating your water so this makes it real quick and easy for us to know how much we have. Um, <clears throat> now I'll show you too, the other thing I like about this, grab this bucket here. Let's hypothetically say we were in the same situation we were this weekend when my family and I, our whole town, um, the water, they had a water main break and now we had to boil water. So just like I was talking about earlier, we, can, we, we had electricity, we had power, we could do whatever we wanted to. So we boiled a bunch of water to drink, but now it's all warm. I mean, and, and by the way, it was 105 degrees. So warm water on a warm day is not very much fun, but I can take this, I can fill up a bucket, which, you know, as preppers, we should all have hundreds of these things anyway. So if not 10, let's just say 10. Um, we take this and fill it up with as much as we want. Now I'm, I've got a dual purpose going. I've now got water that's being cooled off effectively. And at the same time, I'm also thawing out the ice that's in that thing. So it will still be able to be drank, uh, you know, drank later. So th this is really a dual purpose thing because by the time this melts, this will be able to be drank. This might still be around or, you know, gone depending on how many people are in your family. So. It, it, again, offers a lot more options than what we have with just a giant drum of water. So, And don't get me wrong, I'm not against giant drums of water per se. I'm just telling you this is one thing you need to think about because we're already paying a dollar twenty-five for the uh, Diet Coke. So we might as well get some use out of it. I buy it every day, take it with me for lunch, and that way I'm not buying drinks when I'm out on the road. Uh, for my job so I just have it in there I also use one of those frozen ones in my lunch box every day because then I don't have to buy ice or ice packs which is again back to our dual use thing if we go out camping or we go out anywhere and do something I'm taking those out of the freezer and putting them in my cooler and that way I have ice for an entire weekend to keep everything cold I'm not buying bags of ice and any of you have camped know when you buy that bag of ice and put it in there guess what everything starts floating and it becomes a problem. So this way I'm containing that water and while we're out hiking or camping or whatever, I still have water to drink. So now if we look at, I've done this too, we've got milk jugs or, well this one's actually a water jug. Um, I've done this too, I'll be totally honest with you, it works, but I don't like it as well. Mostly because of the shape of it and this, to me, this container is not as tough as the two liter. Uh, when you get over here to the, looking at this, these, I've got several of them to show you, they just take up a lot of space. They don't, they only lay one way. You know, there's no way to really stack it effectively, especially the first row you can get down very easily, but then when it gets on that, you're stacking on top of this. You're gonna have to put some other inside there to make up for what the uh, that doesn't have yet these I can freeze them like this 
then I can effectively, once they're in there, turn them over and stack them like this. And then we can stack successively. So that way, it, it, again, we're back to options that we don't have with other systems. That's why I really like these, because I can stack these on top of each other and just fill this whole thing up. Now you can imagine we have some kind of a problem where we have a run on, their electricity goes out, whatever it is, some calamity happens. This is going to keep my stuff cooler a lot longer than it would have before because this entire thing is now, once we get these frozen and I've got a bunch more I'm going to do, uh, my goal is to have this thing 70% full of these. And that way, once it's in there, I know that that thing, it's more or less a giant chunk of ice. It also tells me exactly how much water I have on hand because I can count the number of two liter bottles and okay, two liters times whatever, and that, that makes it easy on me. Again, we're back to mobility again. I can throw it in a big, uh, you know, if I had one of those big tubs, I can just throw them in a giant tub and go, or backpacks or whatever else. I mean, you could throw that in your bug out bag and take it with you and know you got two liters of water. So that's, uh, that's my little elevator speech, I guess, on reusing your two liter bottles. Um, if you have any questions or anything or, or come up with your own ideas, please let me know. I'd love to see it, see a video on it, link it to me. Don't forget to subscribe and then uh, thanks a lot and have a great day.